as secretariat, if ever there's any apology. Chair? Yes. I might, we we yeah. received an apology from Mr. Mbuyani. There's a family bereavement. Uh, that's why he's not able to join the meeting this afternoon. Yes, I, th I think uh, we would actually acknowledge that. Uh, I did actually speak to him earlier as well, passing condolences uh, to the family. Um, besides that, I think assumption on my side is that all the committee members are connected. And uh, I think before we look at the adoption, Andre, we can just go around, ask members to show themselves on the screen. Don't yes, hide yes. the one your face and then account for everyone. Can we just then run through, uh, Andre, so that we can see everyone is here? Chair, I'll call members by their name. I see yeah. Ms. Montage. Montage. Montage confirmed. Uh, we see her on the screen, Chair, but she, she's having some challenges. Um, can we move forward? Yes. Ms. Ms. Yeah. Hermans. Hermans. Confirmed in the meeting. Um, okay. Ms. Muatse. Muatse. Present. Uh, Ms. Mutawum. Mutawum. Ms. Mutawum. Present. Present. Yes. Good. Yeah. Ms. Mr. McPherson. McPherson. I'm present. McPherson. Mr. Tupper. I'm present, Chairperson. Ms. Yaku. Present. Yaku. Mr. Mulder. I confirm, Chair. And Mr. Thwing. Uh, present, Chair. Okay. So, so uh, I think we, we've got everyone um, uh, in the meeting. Can we then ask that we look at the adoption of the agenda? Can I welcome all the members and thank you very much for attending the meeting. Can we then look at the agenda, honorable members? Because we do actually have the main item before us of the first draft uh, of the third quarter financial and non-financial performance of the DTIEDD. And there is actually also the issue of consideration of the draft program. So those are two main issues we have to look at. And uh, maybe can I check with the members if ever they've got any issue they would like to comment on about the agenda before us. If you're compatible, then I can get your uh, agreement. Let's proceed. Can I ask members to comment if there's any such further suggestion? Chair Member Mulder. Bauer Mulder. Chair, thank you. Uh, I would suppose that we, we 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 adopt the agenda just just one thing um is it possible before the closing of the meeting that we could just discuss possible future information sessions on the c19 question okay we will have actually honorable Mulder the, the opportunity to have that uh, discussion under the consideration of the draft program so Thank you will be within um, your space to be able to make those comments. Thank you, Thank Chair. You, Chair. Yes. Thank you, uh, Chair. And I second the adoption of the agenda. Thank you Sorry. very much. I wanted to speak to the agenda. Uh, let's hear you. So I, I, as I had raised to you in communications, I want to add the issue of media statements uh, from the committee to the agenda to be discussed. Well, it's just a suggestion. Let's hear from other members. There's actually a suggestion that we have a discussion of media statements. Chair. Yes. Chair. Chair, it is difficult for us to agree to that to be added to the agenda if we don't know what it pertains to. What about media statements? Um, the issuing well, of media statements, the drafting of media statements. So I don't think I can agree to that, um, well, to well, that well, uh, addition to the agenda unless we have background. Well, with respect, you should ask the chairperson because I um, spoke to him on the 4th of May about this and he, he was the one who said I should raise it on the agenda. 
McPherson. Can I speak to you? Okay. Can I, can I just, can I just say, ask that McPherson, you have raised the point. Uh, member Hermans is asking a question. Can you respond to that? Because you are in the committee now. And uh, can I actually get you to respond to Hermans? Mantasha, can I note you? And Ms. Um, Mr. Thank you, and me also, yeah. and Ms. Muwaks here. And me, and me also. Yeah. Chair. All right. Can mm -hmm. I actually ask? Then uh, we'll have Hermans have asked the question. McPherson, can you so, take, can you respond sure. to so, that? Then Mantasha, you'll follow. I wrote to you, Chair, on the fourth of May around the and, issuing of the statements. You, you, your response to me was, please add the issue at the committee meeting when we adopt the agenda. That was your instruction to me. Uh, you did not ask me to expand on it. You said I simply need to raise it when the agenda was being uh, proposed so that it could be put on the agenda. Now there's Mark a discussion about whether we should discuss it or not. Um, Mark Pearson. Mark Pearson. So at what point, at what point do you, you know, we actually get to raise issues that you yourself have asked me to raise? Mark Pearson, you raised the issue of media. I said raised it in the meeting. You have raised it in yeah. the meeting. There are questions for clarity from members. They commenting on that issue to understand why you want to put that matter. Let's have that discussion now. You have raised it. Hermans have asked a question. The other members would like to understand more. When we adopt the agenda, each item has got a meaning. With the two areas we have just done now, we know what the discussion is. Can I ask you to respond to Hermans? And then, Mantasha, if ever you, you would like to comment after that, we'll take your comment, and the other members would like to do that. Can I sure. ask you then to speak to, uh, just respond to Hermans? And then so let's I, uh, yes. McPherson. So I want to uh, discuss the manner in which media statements are issued on behalf of the committee uh, and make claims on behalf of the committee and speak to represent the committee without the committee ever having seen them uh, or signed off on them. Uh, and they bind all members to a view that was never solicited by the committee. And uh, the latest example was the one that was issued on the 1st of May, which said, and I quote, the committee commends the responsible and decisive manner in which government is dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. The committee never resolved to take that position. That was never solicited from the committee as to whether they do or do not agree with that. And it is fundamentally wrong to issue a statement on behalf of the entire committee when the entire committee has never been consulted on the matter. And, and my request is, going forward, Ms. Hermans, is that any statement that purports to advance a view on behalf of the committee should, in fact, be approved by the committee. Uh, I think that that is only fair. Uh, and if that view is that it should not be like that, well, then it must only reflect those that agree with a particular sentiment. But to bind all members to a position that was never solicited or agreed to is, is, is simply wrong and misleading, actually. Can that maybe Hermans, I'm not sure if ever you covered. Can we take just another five minutes to round up on this issue, Mantasha? Uh, let me say, Hermans, I'm not sure if ever you're getting the clarity on the question you've asked. Can I ask Hermans to comment, then take Mantasha on this media okay. statement issue? Hermans? Yes, thank you, Honorable McPherson, uh, and thank you, Chair, for giving me the opportunity. I think uh, this is a substantive matter. I think that we can put it on a, a agenda for the next meeting so that we look at what the rules say about uh, statements being issued, unless the Chair is prepared to respond now. But otherwise, I want to propose that we put it for discussion on the next agenda. Thank you. I'm happy with that. Uh, Mantasha? Thank you, Chairperson. 
I would uh, I would support what uh, Honorable Herman saying, Chair, but I I want to remind Honorable McPherson that he must not be selective when we when it comes to statements issued by the chairperson of the committee. I think the, the, the statement that the chairperson issues is based on discussions that have ensued in the committee. I don't know because my person in particular is used to issuing statements that we don't know and we find them in the media space. So I'm I'm happy with what Honorable Hermans is saying that we must go and debate it in the next meeting, not now. Thank you, Chief. Um, Chief, 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 Okay, Mutawung <laughs> and Muatse in that order. If you can actually then come in. Thank, thanks, Chair. I'm covered by uh, Honorable Mandase. Muatse? Muatse? Yes, Chairperson. I'm yeah. also covered by the latter speakers. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Wonderful. Can I just check then on the agenda we have uh, got before us? I'm sure members of the committee agree. Uh, Honorable Mr. McPherson, I'm sure in terms of the issue, there's actually a suggestion that uh, we should actually have a discussion on the next meeting. Agreed. I'm sure that meeting. concludes the measure. The agenda as presented, I assume that it's agreed to. If we can be able to then, um, with the there's a mover and a seconder, I hope that there's no objection. So if ever there's no objection, can we then proceed to actually pick up uh, uh, on the item uh, consideration of the first draft of the third quarter as presented on our agenda? Can I then ask Secretariat to actually uh, take us through to that with this agenda we have just adopted now? Uh, Chairperson, we still have a channel. Uh, Margo is on, so there we go. Chair? We, we we requested members to submit um, concluding remarks and recommendation for consideration. And we've received from the ANC, from the Democratic Alliance and from the ACDP comments. What we have done is we have looked at the comments that they have proposed and we just have, we just reworded it and advised accordingly chairperson. Now chair, we have to determine in the going forward are we going to look at the full report or are we going to look at the concluding remarks and recommendations submitted from each party and move forward on that basis? I will, we need to, to we seek advice from you on that matter. Off chair. Sorry for that. Um, let's say for maybe for the committee members, <coughs> if we actually do have uh, agreement. The report was re was circulated, but I think it might be helpful just on a quick um, a executive summary just to get the report presented and then maybe take those inputs from the different political parties and then be able to get to the discussion of taking the process forward. So unless maybe members think uh, they've had enough time to look at the report, then we can look at the inputs of recommendations and conclusions. Um, can I just maybe get guidance from the committee members of how they suggest we proceed uh, from here? Take the report briefly and then look at inputs or contribution by parties and then get to a point of actually taking the process forward. Can I get Chairperson? Should yes. I take the recommendation um, that we look at a summary, an executive summary, and then take questions thereafter? Oh, the three line is not that good. Uh, can sure, Mr. Cuthbert wants to speak, and Ms. Yahoo. Okay, Let, let's actually get. Uh, was it three that was speaking earlier? Yes, Chair, but Mr. Cuthbert yes. and Mr. Uh, Ms. Yahoo. And, and Hermans. And Ms. And Ms. Hermans. Cuthbert, yeah. Yahoo, and Hermans, in that order. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, Chair, Chair, no, I should very simply, very simply say that I agree with your recommendation. Uh, that's that my we turn have to speak. Summary and then proceed. Uh, I thought uh, you said uh, that uh, it was three. Three. Can, can I actually say that we, yes, we actually 
uh, follow that now, then we can be able to get you. We had you. Um, Pathbus, Yako, and Fine, Ray. Chair. I've, I've, conclu I've already said my, my say. Thank you. Um, so I, th I thought we said Cuthbert, Yako, and Dream. No, Mr. Ms. Hermans. Dream is, is completed. Yeah. Hermans, yeah, Dream, thanks very much for that. Uh, Cuthbert? Thank you very much, Chairperson. Chair, I think that we've all received an opportunity to read through this particular report. And unless we have any amendments to propose to the Secretariat and yourself, then my suggestion is that we go forward with the relevant conclusions as well as recommendations from the party, decide on those, and then we can give it over to the Secretariat to finalise the report for adoption. Yaku. On Honourable Yaku. Uh, Honourable Yaku, can you hear me? Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, David, go straight to... Uh, the line is not very clear, yeah. Yaku. I suggest Ms. Yaku put it on the chat, maybe, then we can see what she's saying. Okay. Okay, let's take Herman. Thank you, Chair. Um, we have received uh, this report um, a couple of weeks ago, I think, and uh, we've had ample opportunity to peruse the report, uh, the report as Honorable Cuthbert has said. So I don't even think it's necessary to have a a, a high-level summary. I think okay. we can uh, go straight into the conclusions and into the recommendations. I so propose. Thank you very much. Can I just check? It was Yaku was not audible. Uh, can I check if you still have a comment, Yaku? Okay. Let's assume then that there's actually agreement that we proceed. Um, because the report has been circulated a few times that we actually pick up on the contribution by parties. Um, can I actually then ask Secretariat um, to be able to actually pick up on the recommendations and contribution by parties? I'm sure you'll be able to take us yeah. through that process. Sure. May I, may I suggest that we start with the ACDP who submitted, and then we'll do the DA followed by the ANC who has more, sub, who has more um, um, present um, recommendations and concluding remarks. If you if, if that can follow, and then we'll go take members through that. Okay, I think that's in order. That's being said, uh, uh, accepted. Let's actually take, as you have said, um, uh, Honourable Tring. I'm sure uh, it's uh, the one race. So, so can I just say, Secretariat, please take us through. The ACGP will be the first one. Yeah. Chair? Uh, yes. Floor Chair, first, the, yeah. the ACGP submitted um, three um, concluding remarks. You will see the, 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 the first bullet point, and if Margo can show the red. Uh, uh, can you uh, hear uh, me? Chair? Uh, who, then, um, okay, who's Chair? coming? Um, okay, proceed. Someone is trying to get our attention yeah. Yeah. because I know we, we were disrupted with Yako. If yeah. she actually gets through, we'll actually see, but uh, I wasn't too sure if it might be her. Just proceed with the ACDP one. Chair, the yeah. ACDP has submitted a proposal on top in, in black. We just reworded yeah. it in red um, as a proposal. So we have to hear from Mr. Trink is happy with our interpretation of what he said. And then the committee can also look at it and either agree or disagree with what Mr. Thring is proposing. Um, Honourable Thring, just to take us through, because there are those uh, uh, adjustments, uh, if ever you're actually comfortable with the uh, uh, additional information that is given. Oh, it's in fact, it's a rephrasing. Yeah, the rephrasing. Okay. Actually, yeah, because it's not actually uh, uh, changing the detail, but uh, yeah, just, I... yeah, Mr. Thring? All right. She, um, I know that uh, Andre has indicated that he's put up the adjustments in red, but unfortunately I'm not able to see that. Um, so I don't know how am I going to be able to comment on the adjustments if I can't see that. Chair, I've okay. also emailed Mr. We also I also emailed Mr. Think the the actual document as well. So if he can check on his computer, he he, he, he should be able to see it. 
Okay, all, all right. right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going there. I'm going there now. Uh, just checking on the email. Uh, okay. And Kim, unless you want to go to somebody else and come back to me, so I'm we can go to the DA chair. Okay. Let's go to the DA, you, Mr. Three. You can actually check your email. Then we'll, we'll pick you next. Uh, the DA one. Uh, I'm not sure. Is everyone able to see the screen because it's being projected? I'm yes, Chair. Sure. You are all able to do. So, but Mr. Thring, it looks like there was there's a problem with your projection. Can we take the DA one? Uh, it's on the screen. Yeah. And Chair. then maybe you can take us through. If, if I may, and I think Mr. Cutbeth who and the DA can comment on this as well. Um, there was three points that was raised by the, the, the Democratic Alliance. Um, the first two points, Chair, we have the view as a secretary that is a that's a scheduling matter. It does not require the House to 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 pronounce itself on that matter because the report is going to the House. So it's a, a programming matter that could be resolved within the committee itself, Chair. But I'll ask the Democratic Alliance to comment if they're okay with that, uh, um, um, uh, if they're fine with that, what we propose, Lee Chair. You say it is covered. Um, no, no. what I'm saying, Chair, is that yeah. the two matters raised by the Democratic Alliance relates more to a scheduling programming matter. And it's not within the, with, with, doesn't, does it doesn't fall within the scope of the report. So I'm asking you to check with the TA if they are okay. Okay, with our interpretation of what we are saying, proposing change. Okay, let me get uh, the Mr. Cutbeth up to that. Cutbeth. Hi, Chairperson. Thank you very much. Uh, Chair, I'm very happy with the amendments as proposed by the Secretariat. I have no problem. I would just like an assurance from your side, from a pro programming perspective, that we can make those two things happen. One, that we get the steel briefing or steel industry briefing by the Minister as soon as he, oh, at his earliest possible convenience. And then number two, that we will get a fixed date from the minister when he will come and present the steel master plan as was agreed to before we went on to the COVID-19 uh, induced lockdown, Chairperson. Yeah, and uh, I think on the next agenda item of our meeting after the, the, pro, the part we're dealing with now, we will be able to actually look at that as well. No, I think um, the, let's actually agree that then we will look at the number three item as the addition. Yeah, I'm sure. Chair, yes. If I may, Chair, the, yeah. it's a recommendation proposed by the Democratic Alliance. Um, we just reworded it, Chair. We need to check with the Democratic Alliance if they are satisfied with the way we captured it there, Chair. Okay. Can I ask the, the uh, card? Thank, uh, thank you very much, Chairperson. We're happy with the way that it's been worded, and I'd just like to emphasize the importance of this particular item, Chairperson. If you look at the report that was provided to us by the department, you'll notice that only 135 out of 300 of this particular target was met, and I think it's important considering the fact that, firstly, the automotive industry plays a large role in our economy, and secondly, considering the circumstances we find ourselves in, that they are able to give us the relevant information as to whether they've improved the situation going forward. Um, and I think in that respect, I would like to ask the committee to agree to the inclusion of this particular recommendation. Okay, the amended as by secretary is agreed to by the DA. The DA's input is acknowledged by the committee. I'm not sure if ever there's any comments. Can we then actually note and acknowledge the DA it's it's a recommendation, eh? Yes. The yeah. depart, other other members of the committee need to indicate if they are what yes. they view on the matter, and we need to proceed on that chair. Let's check the honour. Chairperson. Yes. Chairperson. Yes. Um, the the matter referred to is in the body of the report, and I think it would be useful for us to get a a report as they have indicated. So I can, I, I'm sure the ANC uh, can support that recommendation. Okay. All right. Are there any other comments? And I'm sure with the contribution of the Democratic Alliance, we would actually pick this up as the uh, item we need to include yeah. on the conclusion and uh, recommendations. Okay. Chair? Yes. 
That concludes the DAA's contribution to, to, to the report, Chair. We can just ask, go back to Mr. Thring, and then okay. hopefully he has the opportunity to read through the email that we forwarded to him. Uh, but Marcus will put it up on the screen for other members to see. Okay, uh, Mr. Thring, I'm sure you're able to, to actually connect. And then uh, was, yes, Chair, yeah. I have. I've gone. I've gone through the. <clears throat> I've gone through the amendments. Um, obviously, not happy that um, uh, under the recommendation, the first recommendation uh, is is said not to fall within the scope of uh, this report. I can understand um, uh, understand that, but so reluctantly, Chair, concedes to that. Um, the under the conclusions, um, the. The committee was concerned that the sectors that are able to increase employment, namely agriculture, mining, manufacturing sectors, have come under strain. Um, I think it's just a statement, and maybe uh, if, if I could if I could add, and that the committee works towards um, supporting factors which would mitigate uh, the growth of these, the, the reduction in growth of these sectors, something to that effect. Okay, can you repeat it again and uh, uh, commit to what's the... Uh, Mr. Tring? So, yeah, so it, it reads, the committee was concerned that the sectors that are able to increase employment, namely agriculture, mining, manufacturing sectors, have come under strain. Um, yeah. And furthermore, the committee uh, would work towards mitigating those factors that serve as impediments to these sectors. Okay. Chair. Okay, um, uh, Hermans. Yeah, I, I, I think I can support that if we are saying that we mitigate, uh, that we work towards mitigating the factors within our mandate as trade industry and competition. Oh, okay. Fair enough, Chair. Chair, 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 All right. Chair. Can, I, can I check, Chair? Chair. If I... Ms. Ms. Mantas, Chair. Mantas, Chair. Chair, in this, in this amendment, Chairperson, I would not agree with us, with, uh, with the notion that in the first part, in the first bullet point, and labor laws which uh, need to be to employment should be reviewed. I don't think there's any labor law that needs a review at this point. Chair, if I may speak, Chair. Uh, Andre? Chair, we, we, we advise the, the, the Mr. Thring that that matter that he raised there falls outside the scope of this committee. And obviously the committee, it should not be from part of our, our engagements. Mr. Thring can comment on that. Okay, Mr. Um, Chair, I, I, I've agreed, Chair, I've agreed that, um, that that not be included. So perhaps uh, Honorable Mantashi is looking at um, the original uh, draft that I sent. So I'm agreeing with what the committee would be, what the Secretary of as the amendment, but I've also asked that we put in the mitigating factors, which uh, Honorable Hermans has agreed to. Okay. There's a... There's a, a text written in red. Can we actually have a look at that and see if maybe we comfortable uh, with that um, expression? Because in terms of uh, three, uh, can I check you with you first? Is that in the amendment which we have in red and maroon, uh, you comfortable with what is expressed? And then we can check with the other members of the committee if they are comfortable because it is expressed that labor laws fall outside our scope, but in terms of the issues raised, which impact on uh, unemployment and issue relating to the strain to the economy, uh, it's what we're citing. Can I just check, uh, Thring is happy with that. Can I check if several of the other committee members are comfortable to proceed uh, in the suggested uh, reflection? Chairperson. Yes, Kabat. Just, just a, a maybe a little bit of a English uh, revision there. Wouldn't it be better to say that la uh, concern that labour-intensive sectors as opposed to ones that are able to increase employment? Um, I think that would just sound better. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Okay. So we will make Leibing, Leibing came to the fine chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So can I, can I just say, as, as a principle, we, we actually have consensus, but I'm sure in terms of English grammar, we, we actually might have a bit of a challenge. But in terms of the context of issues raised, I think uh, we're not in disagreement. We actually say, uh, would um, have, uh, Mr. Tring, the amendment as you agreed to it uh, to be actually put uh, on the, uh, is it concluding remarks? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. So I think uh, there's agreement. And we'll, we can go we'll... down, Margo. Okay. Then, Chair, Chair, before Margo goes to the recommendations, there's another bullet point. Yeah. That we need the committee needs to 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 discuss, and I think uh, Margo and Sokwanda can come in there. Um, in bullet point three, investigation be launched into the EDD to determine the reasons for the over expenditure of 78% for the period ending 31st December 2019. Chair, we had a discussion as a secretariat around the matter. I think maybe Margo or Sukwanda can just maybe give some information on, on that before the committee deliberates on the matter. Well, it's got a, a, a suggested uh, text on that. Uh, can we actually then scroll down so that we can see that part? No, we can see it, Chair. We, we can, can see it. Uh, Wonderful. Okay. All right, can we then actually invite, uh, Mark, uh, you said uh, uh, there's someone who'd like to make a presentation on that, Andre? Chair, yes, Margo oh, and Sakwanda can comment, Chair, and then we can also ask the DTI to, to comment, Chair. Okay, Secretariat. Uh, so, Chair, unfortunately, my camera is not working at the moment. Um, so, in the report, um, the, the EDD had given reasons for this of expenditure already. So unless the committees of the view that um, that explanation is insufficient, um, there may not be a need to ask for an investigation. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's actually then get, uh, is there any further comments on that? Do you say the point on our part will be because the issue has been raised sufficiently and properly we, we don't actually have reason to raise it again because it's a duplication chair yes. if, I, if i may come in chair yeah andre it's or mr it's three and miss hermans chair three and hermans um, here, I, I only saw, I think, um, two comments in the report that was made by the EDD. One indicated that uh, this was not necessarily a line-by-line -line, uh, matter, uh, and the second was that uh, much of the over-expenditure, I think, and I was trying to find it, um, uh, but I'll, I'll find it shortly, but much of the over-expenditure, I think, was because of uh, transfers. Um, and I don't know whether that adequately explains, um, but it is possible uh, because I think I missed that particular committee meeting. Um, I had other uh, business to attend to, party business to attend to on, on the day. Uh, but it is possible that there was a further explanation, but the report certainly doesn't give, uh, give uh, further clarity as to why there was an over expenditure of 78%. Okay. Chair, yes, Amos. Chair, I think it would be useful if Margo or Zokwanda can speak to that and refer us um, without going to out of this document to the report. Because for me, when I read it in the main report, the reason for the over expenditure, it was fully explained. And I really don't think we can, I can agree to there being an investigation launched. Because okay. they have reported to the to the committee on this matter. Chair, okay. Sukwanda would like to speak, Chair. Okay, Sukwanda. Sukwanda on the floor. Can we find Sukwanda? Um, good afternoon, members. Uh, in terms of, uh, I want to add to Marco's explanation. On page 22 of the report, 
uh, the second paragraph. Uh, Marco, can we go to that? Oh, She's um, not it's, in the report. Yes, but it it is now on the screen. No. I think it gives an explanation oh, okay. why there is uh, over expenditure. I think that paragraph does explain it. Uh, given that there is an explanation already, uh, going back to Marco's point, if members are then not happy with that explanation, then uh, that conclusion can be explored. Thank okay. you, Chair. All right. I think, Honorable Tring, you did actually uh, indicate to say you might have missed the detail. So I think with the reflection of the rationale of the over-expenditure, uh, investigation may not be necessary. The information provided would be sufficient. Unless you say differently, Tring, can I actually ask uh, uh, you to... Chair, I'm, I'm looking at page... Okay. Sorry, are you done, Chair? Yeah, we, because I'm looking at that bullet point okay. of rationale yeah. of over-expenditure. Can yes. you see that? I'm looking at page 32 of the report, unless I'm looking at a, uh, at the... This is the, the most recent report that was sent to me by Andre. And page 22, the second paragraph, um, does not speak to the rationale for the over-expenditure. So, like I said, unless I'm looking at, at a different report... Um, the only thing in the report that I that I looked at was on page seven, and there's just two lines with okay. regards to uh, the over expenditure, um, and, and it's got rationale for over expenditure, and that is page seven of the report, and it basically just says um, the EDD informed the committee that it had spent 78 percent due to transfers which were not on a straight line basis, and that there had also been additional unplanned expenditure relating to the forensic investigation of one of the entities which it had to carry out as instructed by National Treasury. So just two, two lines, Chair, with regards to over-expenditure. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure because I would like us to confirm if we are looking at the same document. Uh, can I just check with the um, Secretary if that page of rationale of over-expenditure uh, yeah. is in the latest report and does Mr. Thring uh, have the same reflection because we should be looking at the same detail. Margo, our oh, chair, like Margo to come in, Margo Sukwanda, chair. Yeah. Um, so, Chairperson, um, the, the document has been updated. Um, so it now reads uh, as on the screen. Um, Can I just check, uh, check Thring if Mr. Thring has got that uh, detail? Mr. Thring, do you have actually reflection of what where we're looking at? <laughs> I'm not able to, unfortunately, Chair. It's yeah. only when members begin to speak that I can actually see, but all of the projections um, and the presentations I'm not able to see. I don't know what happened. I was able to see them, but from the last uh, present, uh, the last meeting, it's it's. Uh, I'm just not able to see it. I don't know if it's an IT okay. thing. Yeah. Um, the, the Chair. Yes. Sorry. I just wanted to check because I, uh, Mr. Thring should be able to actually look at the same detail we are reflecting on, which actually I thought the secretary was trying to clarify. So we wanted to help uh, Ms. Hammers because if ever she's not, he's not looking at the same detail, it might actually be a complicated discussion because we are actually saying uh, with the de explanation of uh, the rationale of over expenditure, there should be actually sufficient details shared to be able to understand what it means. So a need for investigation may not be necessary. Can I just say to get, um, um, uh, if ever there's any comments from the Secretariat? Um, could you just suffice to read the, the additional information for, for Anwar Thring? Uh, so in terms of that last sentence, it's been expanded on so it now reads, there had also been additional unplanned expenditure relating to the forensic investigation for the Competition Commission regarding relatively high levels of irregular expenditure related to the use of professional consultants. The forensic investigation had been requested by the National Treasury. Okay. So can, can I just check um, then, uh, Mr. Tring? If ever you've got that detail, but if ever you don't have the right documents, can I ask that maybe through the secretariat 
we have a look at that, Mr. Tring, because uh, unless you're looking at something different, we won't be able to conclude on the matter. But from what you think, really read out, are you comfortable with that, Mr. Tring? Um, look, Chair, I think that it's going to be for the committee to decide, but I think my position is going to stand in, in the light of what I actually have in front of me. So the committee then needs to decide whether to include or whether to exclude that particular point. So I think the committee will actually then agree on the conclusion in terms of the statement we have in our report as agreed to by the committee, because it does actually map out processes and National Treasury is actually at the center of management of that part. So I think that's the understanding, unless it's actually different, but I'm, I'm sorry that maybe you may not be looking at the same thing, but what was read out, I hope that you're actually comfortable with that conclusion, uh, Mr. Pring. Uh, yeah, I, I would appreciate the chair if, uh, if that- if that Chair, Ms. Hermans wants well. to address the committee. Okay, Hermans. Chair. I would yeah. not support the uh, uh, Honourable Tring's, uh, Tring's uh, inputs on that matter, what he's, uh, what he's suggesting. Because if you go to the, the main document, it speaks to the fact that the, the committee did inquire about the investigation into the overexpenditure, and there has been a response. So I don't think it would be good for us to then repeat that request to which there was a response uh, in the recommendations or in the conclusion. Yeah. So I think let, let's actually agree, Mr. Tring, you, you, you actually have just said if the committee is comfortable, we can proceed. But on my part, I think I'll have to make sure that at least where we concluded in terms of what was actually presented as a part of the report, we actually yeah, in agreement on that. Okay. Can, can we then actually agree, Mr. Tring, that we will, with those adjustments, which we actually have, unfortunately, you can't see, which were read out, the committee is comfortable that we can proceed in that way. Chair? Uh, yes. Can we proceed now to the recommendations made by Mr. Tring, the ACDP? As you see, the first recommendation, and I think Mr. Tring mentioned it in his opening remark, that we are, are, are advising the committee that that this doesn't form part of the scope of this report and it should is more suitable for it shouldn't be part of this report that's what we are it's on the screen chair okay let's actually get uh, mr Tring with the comment uh, in terms of actually uh, the allocation of the uh, issue chair, right? I indicate at the at the outset that even though i'm not happy with uh, the uh, the recommendation uh, but I understand that it's, if it's out of the scope of the committee, um, we'll look at picking it up at, a, at another level. Thank you. Okay. Can we then proceed? I'm sure that one is agreed to. Mr. Tring says it's in order. It's okay to proceed in that way. Well, Can we chair, take the next item? The next yes. item, Chair, um, we have just um, reworded it. It's just for Mr. Tring to indicate if he's happy with the way we captured it and for the committee to give an opinion on the matter. Um, Mr. Tring, I'm, I'm happy with the. Uh, with, I'm happy with that uh, rewording, Jim. Okay, can we check with committee Chair. members? Committee members, Chair. yes, Ms. Hermans. Can the content advisors uh, just uh, remind us? I know the beneficiation issue was discussed in the report quite extensively. Yes. So, do we need this recommendation? Is there anything in this recommendation that's not covered in the report? Okay. Um, I will ask Margo and Sekwanda to come in, Chair. Okay, Margo and Sekwanda. Margo, Sekwanda. It's, it's on the widening of the scope of beneficiation. <coughs> to leave us on that. Yes, uh, Margo? Okay. Um, I don't know if I don't know if Margo is not hearing us, so it's a quanda chair. Okay. All right. Then, Say, yes. The matter is extensively discussed Hi, in the Andre. Hi, uh, Sukwanda. Hi. Can you hear me? We can hear yes. you, Sukwanda. Uh yes. sorry, I'm losing you there. 
Um, the, the Marco, can you stroll up the, the and see the the, the reworded uh, version of 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 this? Of the uh, if you can hear section, me. Section. Uh, beneficiation, Sekunda. The beneficiation, Sekunda. We're talking about. I, I don't see anything wrong with it being in the conclusions, as long as uh, even though it is in the in the body, body. of of yes. of the report. Okay. Even though it's been um, discussed extensively in the in the body of the report. Okay. 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 So you say that the, the conclusion is not a big issue. No. Mm. Uh, mm. yeah. okay. okay. So can I just check with, with the honourable member uh, if ever there's any further comments? But the uh, inclusion, uh, the uh, conclusion. Looks like it actually won't affect uh, any of the previous engagement. So I'm sure, Hermans, you're actually raising a point. Uh, yes. Early on that I think uh, the consensus will, will be that uh, it may not actually. That, uh, yes, Hermans. Yes, yes, that we move it to as a concluding remark because it then only like lip. And, and emphasizes, puts yeah. another emphasis on the issue of beneficiation. We can okay. support that. Okay, good. All right, can we then proceed to the next one? Okay. So the, so the third um, 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 input that is made as a recommendation, we have the view, we reworded it, but we also have the view that it's rather best place under the conclusions chairperson but we have to speak to mr Fring if he views that and the committee has to con also decide if that approach is correct can i take uh, mr Fring? Uh, i'm not sure chair, I, have, I have no problem either. if it's moved to concluding remarks chair i don't okay. have a challenge with that agreement that we can move uh, as suggested to concluding remarks um can I actually check with the other committee members if ever there's any comment on this specific issue? No. If uh, there's none, then we actually take it to concluding remarks as as amended. Oh. Okay. Chair? Yes. Uh, we have then concluded the the, inter the input from, from the ACDP. Now I'll ask Margot to put the, the input from the African National Congress on for the committee to consider. Okay, can we take the next one, uh, the mm -hmm. ANC? Uh, Chair, Chair, sorry, yes. can I can I ask if uh, because I'm not able to see on my screen, if uh, whether that has also been emailed uh, to me as well? That's yes. correct. Yeah. It was emailed. Yeah. So, uh, Honourable Pring, there, there was actually an email with the different uh, documents, including the agenda and inputs of parties. Please check on that. Was sent. Uh, I think sent through Andres' email. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Because it it just shows it just shows my inputs, chair. It doesn't show the inputs from the other parties. The recommendations and changes. Was, That's the email that I received from Andre. Chair, there there was an email prior to that, Mr. Mr. Trink. I'm a, I can resend it to you. Just check your email prior to that because yours was lost. So hence you would. Um, so I would suggest you just uh, double. Okay. You see, all right. right. Now found it. Thank you. Thank found you. Thank you. All Chair, right. Can we then proceed on that? Yeah. Chair, right. I yeah. think the first concluding remark is on us on the screen that was submitted by the African National Congress. We need just to indicate what submit committees committee needs to indicate their view on that matter, and we proceed accordingly. Chair. Okay. So that's the first one to check if ever there's. Uh, from the secretariat side, it does look at that concluding remarks fits on that space. Chair, Chair may, may I propose, Chair? Yeah. Seeing that this is, uh, we didn't make any changes to it because we felt it was fine. Seeing that it's the, it's the ANC, if the other parties can comment if they are happy or, 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 or in disagreement with that, Chair, because okay. then we can go quicker because this is the ANC position, so we don't need to hear from it. African National Congress on their own submission, unless okay. we are proposing a change. Let's actually have the first one. No. There's not one. It comments from honourable members, other parties specifically. No, agree, Chair. We're concerned about the contraction as well. Okay. No. Agree. The first point, can we say the first one 
we can actually pass and look at the second one, unless there are other comments from other parties uh, in terms of the issues relating to uh, deepen rural, rural developments and township. Are there any uh, comments from parties on the ANC second uh, uh, item? No. If, if, if not, no. no. can we take the third item? Um, challenges facing steel mining industry. And then if ever they actually no comments or then we Chair, can actually... I'd like to comment, Cuthbert. Oh, uh, Cuthbert. Chair, Ms. Cuthbert. Number three, Cuthbert. Just to yeah, just to confirm, Chair, that in point three, that is also a scheduling concern, it yeah. seems to be. Yeah. So I think that that one could actually, you know, be dealt with as the as the committee rather than it being put in as a um, concluding remark, per se, as per okay. what was the direction of mine. <coughs> okay, okay. On the third one, there's actually the comment that the scheduling will be more fitting than actually the uh, concluding remark. Is the African National Congress or the ANC uh, comfortable with that? Can we take comments? Um, yes. Okay, let's take somebody else. Chapathan, yes. I... Um, we, would, we would plead with uh, Honorable Trim and the rest of the other members of the opposition to agree with us to leave that uh, item as it is. Thank you, Chair. So it's it, because there was suggestion. Uh, that it, Chair, please note, I didn't have a problem. I think it was Cuthbert. Yeah, it was. It was Cuthbert. Yeah, it was Cuthbert. Yeah. Cuthbert. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Mantasha, you were speaking to Cuthbert. So Cuthbert can. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chair, please. Yeah, I do ask Cuthbert, yeah. Cuthbert? Thank you, Chair. And just to Miss Mantash, all white people don't look the same, I assure you. And Mr. <laughs> Bing and I are a little bit different in that respect. Both South Africans, though, nonetheless. Anyway, Chair, I, I disagree with Miss Mantash, and I think for the same reasoning that the committee secretary provided reasoning for me to compromise on my recommendation, I think the same should be of this particular recommendation. Okay. Chair, Chair if I may, yes. Chair. Andre? Um, that we, the last part of that number three chair, we can we can delete as I proposed. That's a proposal I'm making, that we can delete the last part into a scheduling issue, which is correct. But the first part could be okay. retained. Okay. So, I agreed. I agreed, chair. Okay. No, that's fine. So there's a point of the, the first part being included. So I think, um, Cuthbert, you're comfortable with that? And the, yes, Chair, uh, comfortable with that. Thank you. Okay. And the ANC, you, you're fine with the amendment? Yes, Chair. Yes, we are, Chair. Can we take, can we take number four? Number four, and I'll just say, ask other parties uh, on that uh, concluding remark. Number four, if you're comfortable, please indicate, but... If ever there are suggested changes, can we actually speak to that? We're happy that it's there, it's fine. Can we proceed? Agreed, Chair. Yeah. Agreed, too. Can we take number five? Uh, welcome the social economy policy framework for township rural economies to be finalized in next financial year. Uh, parties, any comments? Not, yes, Chair, please. Okay. Mr. Cuthbert? Chair, um, with regards to recommendation six, I, I agree with this particular uh, recommendation, Chair, um, but I would What's suggest that being... It's a conclusion. It's a conclusion. Oh, sorry, sorry, concluding remark. My apologies, Andre. Um, I agree with this, but I think that we should put an example in, and I think the most stark example of this is China that has, a, a, I think, a 3% difference with us in terms of a trade imbalance. So, you know, just to be 100% correct, I think that should be added in. Okay. So, you say uh, number six. So, I assume number five was agreed. So, Fine. number six, it's actually that specific 
uh, example, which you actually suggesting, particularly with China? Chair. Yes. Uh, uh, can I ask why? Uh, can I ask why we are then particularly mentioning China? Because in the body of the document, uh, quite a few countries uh, within BRICS. Um, the trade deficit is um, unpacked in the document. Okay, so you say it, it should be broader, not specific to China. Yes, and because then, all the other countries are, are, are mentioned in the body of the document. Okay, okay. So in the, terms the, of the, trade the, deficit. Okay. Not mentioning the example of China or mentioning okay. the yeah, no, he's, she's mentioning all of yeah, them, all of so it. it's fine. Okay. That's, so that's is, is fine. That giving the, 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 broader, the, the broader examples with China, Russia, India, and Brazil, because I think we it's context of BRICS. Yes. So those, okay. and can we add the S to BRICS? You can't, that couldn't you? Uh, uh, you're breaking, um, Hermans. You're yeah, breaking a bit. Uh, Chairperson. Ms. Mantas, okay. Chair. Okay. Mantas, I can hear you. I, I am wondering why we're mentioning these, these uh, countries again, because the abbreviation, the abbreviation breaks represent them all. Why? why? Oh, can I just say... that on the first sentence, uh, that would actually say the statement uh, following referred to the scope of BRICS as actually reflected. So maybe it's a point of actually removing the latter part. It's re-emphasis if you actually add it like what is being suggested. I'm not too sure if ever the members then will say, let's proceed in that way with the fixing of BRICS. That's fine, Chair. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Can we then say is those were the six uh, uh, points? Uh, on the Chair. Yeah. Margot wants to say something, Chair. Margot. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Um, because obviously South Africa is not going to trade with itself. Oh, yes. Should we it, specifically yes. mention the countries um, where there was a narrowing of the trade deficit? Because one of them, they, I think Brazil, there wasn't. I just mentioned the three countries instead of saying narrowing of the trade deficit with the BRIC countries. Okay, so you want to be specific to that because there are some which are excluded in that situation. Yes, Chair. Okay. Can, can I actually then, um, all right. That will be China, India, and Russia. Agree, yes. Chair. Okay. All right. Okay. So the, then, can we then proceed? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Chair, with the recommendation? Then, yeah. Look at the recommendation. There's a first one. Hey, Margo, is, is there anything else, Margo? <clears throat> Chair, the yeah. ANC submitted this uh, uh, um, recommendation. Um, uh, we of the opinion, if you can't see it on the screen, that this recommendation is, yeah, is, is more of a concluding remark than the recommendation, Chair. But it's for the ANC to comment on our... our, our, our okay. So can I just check uh, the African National Congress, the concluding remark which we had as a suggested recommendation? Can we be able to okay. then actually agree to move it to concluding remarks? Chair. Hermans? Chair, Ms. Hermans. Hermans. Chair, we don't have a problem uh, as long as we have captured uh, the seamless <laughs> process uh, of the amalgamation of the two departments. So we don't have a, a objection to it being moved to concluding remarks. Okay. 
As suggested by Secretary, there is a, a agreement that we can move it to closing remarks. Um, agreed to. Can we then proceed to the next one? Unless maybe this uh, the last item. What's the next item on the concluding? Uh, Mago? On the, Mago? Are we at the end of the presentation? Uh, sorry, I got cut. Can you see the presentation still? We can yes. see it, Mago, but we're not moving down. Yeah. Because we are at the, at the conclude uh, uh, yeah. the recommendation. Number one is agreed to, and then number, number two. two. Number two, um, it should uh, it was already in the second quarter report, so it should not be from part of 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 this um, report. Okay, so which means there is actually a suggestion that uh, two be removed. Yeah, because actually. Uh, duplicating. Can we ask the ANC? Chair. Yes, uh, Hammond. Given, given the state of these two industries, the sugar industry and the steel and metal fabrication sectors, um, if there's nothing in the concluding remarks about it, can't we move it to the concluding remarks? We will check with the secretary for the Yes, in the report. Chair? Yes, uh, Andre. Nothing stops the committee to, to to indicate to us that we must move it. If that's the view of the committee, Chair, we will move it to the to the concluding remarks, Chair. Again. Okay. So not to be a recommendation. I think it's agreed to that we move it to a concluding remarks. Yeah. Uh, can we check if uh, committee members you you comfortable with that? Maybe the ANC is uh, supporting that in agreement? We are in agreement. We agree, okay. Chair. Yeah, we, okay. yes, we agree, Chair. Okay. Chair, the third point. Okay, number three. Chair, we were of the view, the third point, that the matter being raised, there, there's no reference in the report to that matter. And it, I think it will be more suitable for our entities report where it's discussed extensively. So we have the view that it should not be formed part of the recommendations, Chair. We they have the suggestion that in, uh, item three should be removed. I'm sure we can get the African National Congress to, con to uh, respond to that because Secretary has advised that we should actually remove. We will yes. take the advice. We will take the advice. Chair, okay. Mr. Fantastic. Um, so I was saying we will take the advice from the Secretariat. Okay. Is agreed to number Agreed. Four. Agreed, Chair. Okay. Thank you very Mago? much. On number four. Chair, the NC yeah. made a proposal. We were just we just um rewrote it and we want to check if the ANC is happy the way we put it there, Chairperson. Okay. There, there is actually a suggested expression um, as it reflected there. I'm sure the uh, members can see that. Can we check with the uh, ANC if ever there is agreement on that amendment? It's actually same detail, yes. more, more clear in terms of what... Yes, uh, we agree, sir. Okay. So that, that amendment, the amendment is agreed to. Um, can we then move on to the next one? She's moved a bit too far. Yeah, just move it down. Okay, there. Okay. Chair, the next with, one, respect, yes. with respect to <laughs> this. I think it must go up, isn't it? But it is in the, it's in the thing in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually. Chair, yes. with respect to this um, recommendation, we also have the view. Yeah that it should not be included is more suitable for the Gauteng Oversight Report where we extensively discuss SABs and NRCS and we will have the Gauteng Report soon before the committee. So it will be better located in that report chair. Okay, so there is a proposal that the issue is uh, accommodated or covered uh, on the report cited uh, of oversight. So we need to actually agree and uh, maybe asking the ANC that we remove it from 
this part of the report? Can we ask the ANC? We, are, we agree, yeah. Chairperson. Okay, we so are. we will remove, okay. The ANC agrees, Secretary, that we, we concur, we will do that, Chair. remove that, yes. Can we take Chair, the, the next? Action? The next yeah. one, Chair, we also just reworded it, Chair, and, and we want the, wanted approval of the committee, especially the ANC, because it was their present, um, um, input. Uh, then there's actually a suggested rewording. It's not changing of uh, content, developing targeted incentive for companies operating in the industrial parks. So there's suggestion that we agree to amend uh, or yes, we uh, agree. Agreed, Chairman. Agreed. Okay. We agree. Thank you very much. There's actually the, the next one, which is the uh, Economic Development Department, because we just finished the uh, previous mm -hmm. one. Can we take the next lot? Um, Chair, yes. we, we also have the view that this recommendation should be moved to the, con to the conclusions, Chair, um, as, as, captured, as we captured it there, Chair, but that's for a decision okay. for the committee in the ANC. Can we check with the ANC? We're moving it, concluding remarks, um, instead of... Um, are you happy with that? There's a proposed change? Can, can, we, can we just hear what is the motivation uh, for, for moving this to conclusions? What is the problem with it being in the recommendations? In the recommendations? Given okay. the state of the steel industry, recommendation. Let, let's to take secretariat if you can speak to that. Chair, maybe we'll ask Margot to come in quickly. Chair, then I'll come in. Margot. Uh, Chair, uh, if you look at the body of the of the report, I'm not sure which page at the moment. Um, yeah, it's it indicates that the amendments have been made. So okay. we'd be welcoming the amendments and not asking for them to be done. Yeah. Oh, okay. So already okay. the okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. That was the rationale chair that we that we put uh, for, for it to be moved to 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 the concluding remark chair. Okay. Okay. Can I just check with the ANC? With that uh, explanation, I agree, chair, that we move it to concluding remarks. Okay. There's, it's agreed to the suggestion of the secretariat. Can we take the next point, number two? Chair, we, we have, this, have the same view regarding this, Chair, that it's also a concluding remark rather than a recommendation. Okay, so there's actually the same suggestion. Move it to concluding remarks than recommendation. We, are, we agree, Chair. Okay, thank you, Honorable Matashe. Uh, I'm sure they, then we have the ANC agreed to. Can we take the third yes, one? Yes, we do. Okay. Then number three, there's a rewording part. Margot? Margo? But we agree to the rewording. You're happy yeah. with the rewording? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Then can we actually move to number four? Um, Rewording is agreed to in number three. Number four is actually rewording as well. The African ANC. It's just a rewording chair, and the ANCs must give their, pos their position on the rewording chair. Okay. Number four, ANC. There's rewording because it's not content. We agree to the rewording com uh, uh, chair. Okay. I wanted to say, comrade chair. <laughs> oh, well, it's still, it's still okay. You can say that. Chairperson? <laughs> Chair, there is. Yes, Stop this, Chair. Chair, does this, does this particular um, recommendation not speak to earlier concluding remark as well regarding the social economic policy framework? Are we not then just duplicating, um, you know, comments and feelings around this particular issue? Okay. So is, is it under the DTI? We, we have to have the same thing, or then you'll say it's a duplicate. Yes, it's very similar in nature, Chair. Is it? Okay. Chair, Chair in, in the concluding remarks, we speak about it being concluded in the next financial year. But mm. in the recommendations, we are actually speaking about the intergovernmental support 
to get it done. We, I don't know, where is it now? Yeah, no, can I just say from what uh, Honorable Cuthbert is raising, can we check? So that down. We actually, yeah, so that we ensure that we don't actually duplicate. Yeah, because I think from what you're actually suggesting, we, we may be actually saying the same mm -hmm. thing twice. Okay, can we then um, uh, pick up on the next item? So, Honorable Cuthbert, I think the suggestion is just to check that we don't duplicate. But we are checking there. You see, it speaks about for for us to finalize it in the next financial year. Okay, okay. Right. The recommendation now speaks to something, something to, yes, about the coordination. About the coordination. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, I'm sure, uh, uh, Honorable Cuthbert, I'm sure you'll be able, you are able to see the different expression, it, it's not duplicating or contradicting at this okay. stage. Yeah. Can we then proceed, uh, honorable members, um, take the next item, number five, I think we just chair? spoken. Yes. No, uh, just, just, just a wording, Chair, and it's for the committee and the ANC to, to, to indicate if they are okay with the rewording as we put it there. Can I just check with the ANC with the rewording? Comfortable with that? And then maybe for other committee members, if ever there's any comment. ANC? ANC agrees to the rewording. It captures what yeah, we need. Agreed to. Uh, number five, it's agreed to. Can we proceed? It's the rewording is accepted. Let's take number six. The next one. Is that the Mogo? Or is that the final one? That's the final one, Chair. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can we then actually go go back because on the agenda which we adopted earlier. We, we were looking at this part of the program to be able to actually see the concluding remarks to our report and uh, recommendations. So I think uh, obviously we have actually got to the end of our discussion. So maybe process wise secretariat, if we can be able to actually then speak to us on the basis of how we then proceed. Uh, Chair, if I may, Chair, what will happen now? We will affect those changes proposed by the by the committee, and we have scheduled. I think if you look at the program, we have scheduled the formal adoption of that, because I don't think we have the final report in front of us. We will make those necessary changes as proposed by the members. Once we have done that, we will forward it to members, and then at at at, at, the, at the at the meeting that that we will schedule later on the program, we will formally move that report to be adopted, Chair. Because the members don't have the final report in front of them, I suggest that we do not move formal adoption, rather wait till we have the completed report and at the next meeting when we schedule, adopt the, the report as, as, as proposed by members. I'm, I'm sure members are comfortable with that. Agreed, uh, Chair. Okay. Agreed. Then it will actually uh, conclude the Agreed, item Chair. we're raising on, on the third quarter report. Unless there are further issues you wanted to raise, uh, Secretary, I'm sure we can be able to conclude that item on the agenda yes, and be sir. able to pick up on the next item of the adopted agenda earlier. The program, Chair. Okay. Can we okay. then uh, have the program? Um, I'm sure members are comfortable with this one. Let's have our program on the screen. Uh, remember that in the previous meeting, we tried to look at... Uh, um, areas of the program, some of them might be highlighting uh, on the discussion. So I think, uh, can I ask Secretary just to take us through from today's meeting? We yeah. are on the 6th of May. Yes, Chair. Yes. Chair, I think at, at, at the last meeting on Friday, we have agreed that we will, we will do regular um, um, COVID um, um, engagements with the Department of Trade and Industry in competition. And the program would reflect that regular engagement that we have scheduled also. Chair, what I would like to bring to members' attention, because of the lockdown that we're experiencing, although we may see a particular time on the program, 
we we may not be allocated a particular time on that particular day, but another time. So members must just be aware of uh, management is trying to schedule all meetings for all committees using a, a particular format. So although we agree with the program and the time here, it may not be the time that management uh, um, 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 need to, to um, management give us a different time. So we have to be cognizant of that. Um, Chair, we, we have in the, on the program, there is the COVID um, response, that's a two weekly thing. And there's also all engagements with the different entities in relation to the COVID uh, um, response itself. We also schedule, Chair, the, the, the scheduling of the adoption of this committee report is for the 12th Chair. And then we also have scheduled the report, the other reports, I think later in June Chair. Chair, I think there's members who would like to comment or request Mr. McPherson would like to comment on the report, Chair. And we have to look at, obviously, at what was proposed by the Democratic Alliance this morning and see where we can fit in that engagement, Chair. Okay. So can I just say, maybe having gone through, if you can run through the whole program, yeah. uh, you have motivated well on the way you actually <laughs> spoke. Let's actually look at it till the end, and then we can come back and members can actually comment and advise. If you can proceed, Andre. Chair, I think, yeah, the program goes up till the 9th of June when we consider minutes and the third quarter program. Hopefully by then we have a, a, a projection of where our parliament will operate within the lockdown period. We don't know at this time whether it's level four still at the time of June. So, but it, it takes cognizance of the oversight of the committee in relation to the entities where the regulation was, was announced on behalf by the minister. So, and obviously we're dealing with reports that we must conclude as part of our, our obligations, Chair. Okay, so I think the, the, the uh, balance of COVID-19 and uh, departmental work uh, is actually what reflects on the program. Can I actually then invite uh, committee members? Mr. McPherson? Yes. Mr. McPherson, Mr. Cudworth, Chair. McPherson? And Mr. Cudworth as well. Okay. McPherson? Thank you. Um, I just want to understand why uh, or, or where this need to have uh, these joint meetings with the select committee um, on nearly every issue uh, comes from. Um, uh, uh, well, one, it is extremely cumbersome to have so many members uh, dealing with these issues. Um, I think that, you know, that, that their briefing should be separate from, uh, from, from the work that we are doing. Um, and, you know, it just becomes extremely limiting on time to, ans to ask questions uh, as we found the last time. So I, I just want to understand what the rationale is or rationale is behind uh, this uh, inclusion of the select committee uh, in our program. Um, I also don't see any further engagements with the minister um, in the program. I would like to know why that is, um, because I think that, uh, and I echo the sentiment of the chairperson in the last meeting, that you know we should certainly be having more of the minister uh, in uh, in our program, but that does not seem to have uh, taken root in uh, in the schedule going forward. Um, I would also then thirdly like to ask uh, Andre, when is the APP coming to the committee, or is that being uh, delayed for later? Or maybe I might have missed it. Um, did I miss it? Yeah. Okay. okay, sorry, I do apologize. You did fly through it. All right, well, then you have answered one of the three questions. So uh, just, just to recap, why is the select committee being involved in all of our committee meetings? And two, uh, why is the minister not coming to further meetings of the committee? Okay, then, okay. let's uh, take the other one, uh, Cuthbert. Thanks very much, Chair. As per our discussion in the previous agenda point, can you please, or can I please ask the Secretary to look at a possible time regarding the steel master plan as well as the Minister's briefing on the steel industry? 
Okay. Can I just check if there are any further comments? Um, <coughs> Ms. Mantash Chair and Mr. Mulder. Uh, Mantash. Uh, three. And, and, well, Mr. Well, Thring. A... and Mr. Thring, yeah, I saw now Mr. Thring. <laughs> okay, Mantashe, Mulder, and Thring. And Hermans. And Mr. Hermans. Okay. Chair, Chairperson, I, 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 I tend to be corrected. When we started the, the virtual meetings, we were informed that we would have combined meetings with the, with the with the with the standing committees of the NCOP to cut down on costs. I I I stand to be corrected if that's not the case, if I understand it wrongly. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Uh, Mulder. Uh, thank you, Chair. Now I want to support uh, members member McPherson's question on um, why the meet, joint meetings are being held. Uh, I would also I also um, prefer the, the, the DTI committee to meet on its own with certain issues. And then I don't want to ask why the minister is not addressing us that often. I would urge the committee to consider that the minister should uh, be able to speak to us more often. I think uh, with this department specifically, it's, it's, it's compulsory. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Um, three. Mr. Three. Uh, thank you, thank you, Chair. I yeah, agree with the previous comments that were made, but mine is more of a general one, and, and that is, um, as members of Parliament, are we not able to uh, receive information beforehand with regards to um, when we are going to possibly be returning to Parliament, uh, whether this year or next year? What we, what we have seen is, just based on this particular program, that now we are certainly not due back uh, until after the 9th of June. Uh, so this is again, Chair, just a more general um, comment that we are having to pick up, and I speak for, for the ACGP, we are having to pick up uh, from programs uh, that you know scheduling for us to come back to Cape Town is going to possibly only be only after the 9th of June, if at all. Okay, can I actually ask uh, uh, Hammonds? Uh, Chair, yeah, Chair, I would have thought that there was some level of agreement at the level of the chief whips of the various parties about the joint uh, briefings. Um, but we have been told that if it's not possible because uh, NCLP members serve on numerous committees that we can arrange separate briefings. But I think um, if it has been agreed on at a, at, at a multi-party level, then we should allow it to proceed. I also want to propose, Chair, that when we schedule in a briefing on the steel uh, industry that we also include sugar, because it was something that was uh, the sugar industry, it was something that was on our program. Then, Chair, um, we have um, uh, briefings, joint briefings on COVID-19 uh, measures as it pertains to the, uh, the DTI. I think that we must not assume that it means the, the minister will not be there. I think for all those briefings, we must request the minister to be the one uh, or one of the deputy ministers to be the ones who are, 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 are briefing the portfolio committee on, on COVID-19 related matters. Thank you. Okay. Chair? Yes, Andre? Chair, if I may respond to the questions that the members have raised, particularly, I think um, Member Mantrash and Ms. Ms. Hermans already addressed the issue of the joint meetings. It, we received instructions that as far as possible with any COVID related matter, and with the strat plan that we should try to have a joint committee to cover costs. That was that was agreed to at a multi-party level, hence that. But there will be cases where it may not be possible for the, for the select committee to be with us because they do have a, a bigger portfolio than our committee. So we may not have them all the time, but we were advised that we should include them when we do schedule our program. 
and I do understand uh, um, uh, uh, understand the frustration of members in terms of time for them to engage. With regard to the joint briefings on a Monday, we have consulted with the Office of the Ministers and the TTI, and the Monday meetings is basically where hopefully when the Minister is available for the Minister and Deputy Minister to be present on those days. So the Minister, or, uh, maybe it's not on the programme, but the Minister, the 11th, any, every second Monday meeting would be engaging with the Minister. So the Minister is, 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 we are inviting the Minister to come, but we do not know if that's always possible. But the, the intention was, it's those meetings where the Minister will brief the committee and give updates on, 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 on those matters. Um, with regard to, I think we have addressed, I think I've addressed most of the issues, Chair. And obviously, yeah. with regard to the scheduling of the steel and, and, and sugar and something, we will have to look at the program uh, and we will have to, 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 to find a, 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 a day for that engagement. But we will also do that in consultation with the, with the Office of the Minister and also the Department to see if those um, um, master plans are finalised or final. I know one is, one is final sugar, but the others, if it's finalised yet, and then we will schedule accordingly, Chair. With regard to Mr. Thring's um, question, I'm not in a position to answer that question. I think the NCCC will be able to provide us with clarity in terms of when Parliament will reopen and the Speaker and the Chairperson of the Council of Provinces would guide us in that process. But Chair, I hope I answered all the questions with regard to what that was raised by members. Yeah. Uh, I have can, a question, I, Steve. Um, Mr. McPherson? Chair? Can I can I just do this uh, before uh, uh, Mark Pearson? Uh, is that uh, the, there is confirmation that meetings uh, of committee's time well, three hours, yeah, will be three hours, yeah, uh, instead of actually the ones we actually had before. You can see even on our program here, although the other issue which might be a bit of a challenge is when. In terms of slots, can those meetings be convened? But there is actually a general principle agreed to that at least the uh, meetings should be three hours in terms of uh, time. So in trying to actually get more time, uh, McPherson wanted to raise point, but he, uh, to raise a point, let's hear you so yeah. that we can Thank actually continue um, on the program. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad to hear that uh, the minister uh, is going to come. That's excellent. Um, and you'll recall I wrote a letter to you asking if we can include in the agenda the issue of understanding the rationale behind e-commerce. So would that be possible to uh, include that then in the meeting for the 11th, if the minister's going to be here? Because uh, I wouldn't want to spring it up on him, but just to give him an advance notice uh, to, to, to discuss that issue. Can I just say, in terms of the last meeting, I'm sure that issue was raised. I think uh, I'm not wrong to say that, uh, McPherson. Raised, but that never in the meeting, Yeah, in the meeting we had with the minister, that issue was raised. We didn't have enough time to discuss. Uh, before we actually have a process where outside the committee, we actually try and schedule issues. It may be helpful on issues like what you have raised, because there were quite a number of issues which we highlighted on that meeting. And I'm sure there will be time or more time that we will be able to have with the minister to further engage. In terms of the program before us, uh, we will have sufficient time. And I think uh, meeting as the committee, we should actually be able to use that space with a bit of time that is being extended to be able to get to have proper discussion around the issues which are important and critical. So at this stage, before I actually end up with a short list of things that we must get the minister to do or deal with. So can we say our meetings will be regular enough? Interaction with the minister will and should be sufficient. And on the basis of that, uh, let's not actually have the agenda uh, worked out in advance, but when we get to those meetings, be able to engage, use the time we have more fruitfully. So at this time, can we not actually try and tie up the agendas 
but the interaction I think will be sufficient. We will actually try and use time more productively. So can we adopt the program on the basis of that, honorable members? We're not too sure uh, what will be happening over the period we're reflecting here, uh, that we will be back to parliament or not, but can we plan on the basis of working virtually as a committee as we have started uh, recently? And the adoption of this program should actually accommodate that. There might be changes we don't know, but at this stage, we are able to actually use time allocated to actually implement and have oversight as the portfolio committee to the work that we should be doing. So can we try and conclude then, honorable members, because in terms of the program, as presented, I'm sure you're comfortable that we proceed. There may be detail that we clear closer to engaging in those meetings, and I'm sure we will improve moving forward. Can I just maybe try and conclude? Um, are there any Chair. questions? Chair. Yeah. Uh, Andre? Chair, Chair, can we have Andre? can we have a move and a seconder for the adoption of the program before we conclude, Chair? I hear okay. a member from Cuthbert and uh, Ann Hermans. Judy Hermans. Mutaung. Mutaung. Can I take those three hands? Thank you, uh, Chair. Cuthbert, yeah. Chair, I, I, I disagree with you slightly on your pronouncement that we shouldn't try and pack agendas. The meetings that I'm referring to, particularly the steel industry and the ones alluded to by the ANC, um, being the sugar industry, are ones that were scheduled as meetings but needed to be postponed because we weren't in Cape Town. So I think we should keep the same intention that we had with those meetings and schedule them as meetings where the agenda is solely focused on those as opposed to saying, well, if we find space and we can make, you know, fruitful use of our meeting, then we do that. Those were specific reasons for us meeting, and I think we should stick to those, Chair. Yeah, no, I think it makes complete sense. Yeah. Um, noted. Can we take uh, Hammond? I defer to uh, Honorable Motau. Okay, Motau. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks, Chair. I move for adoption of the program. Okay. Can we then actually get the seconder to the adoption of the program? Come Thank you, Chair. Ms. Chair. Thank you, Chair. I second the proposal. Okay. Can we then actually agree that uh, we move... Uh, to the next item, unless there are objections from honorable members. So the program is agreed to. Can we actually move to the next item on the agenda, which actually is us concluding our meeting? Um, for Secretariat, our next meeting, uh, Andre, if you can actually Chair? speak to that. Yes. Chair? We have distributed the APPs and the stack plan to members, I think, about two weeks ago. We, will, we can resend it, but that will be the focus of our meeting on the 11th of, of, of May. We will hopefully, we await, we will probably by Friday confirm the virtual meeting because we're waiting for every time for a lock in details and passwords, so we can't do it prior to that. Um, hopefully, we will have the presentation chair by Friday. I cannot speak on that if that's possible, but the DTI hopefully will have the presentation ready by Friday. As soon as I receive it, Chair, we will distribute it to members, and then we will um, um, share the meeting. The first meeting is, is on, on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday. So we have three meetings scheduled for next week, Chair. Okay. Can I just say the next meeting is 11th May, and the time is 9 to 12. And uh, you did say that, Secretary. Chair, 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 just, to you, <laughs> Chair three. just to correct you, the time is 3 o'clock on Monday till 6 o'clock. Or oh, 3 to 6. Yeah. Okay. So I think in, in those meetings, uh, the time was an issue highlighted, yeah. that there might be changes of time uh, of those meetings, but the dates will actually be what we have just uh, uh, adopted. Mm. So the next one will be, um, you said, 12 to 3. Yeah, um, no, um, three till six, Chair. The limit of May, three till six o'clock. Okay, 
the twelfth will be at nine o'clock chair, okay. and back to three o'clock on Wednesday. Chair. All right. Just to make okay. sure, Mr. Cadbert. Cadbert. Thank you very much, Chair. Chair, I just want to ask one, ask for one favour, Chair, and that's can we please be sent the calendar invites a fair while in advance? I understand the login details may not necessarily be available, but just so that we can also block out our diaries, if we possible. can do that, Chair. We'll Thank do it in the old school, Chair. We'll do it like we normally did in advance, yeah. but the login will come later then. Yeah, no, I'm happy yeah. that you do send the SMS as well to remind mm. us which is quite helpful. Mm. Thank you very much. Can we then uh, meet next meeting 11 May at 3? Can I thank you for participation? And uh, the meeting is adjourned. Long live the chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank, thank you, chair. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Uh, Andre, Bye. Can, I, yes? can I chat to you quickly on the phone? Yes, you can. You can.